when he doesn't move, it becomes the most depressing moments of my life. Because I know that what I want to see is not happening. And my word uh, to you that are listening by the internet and to our, to our people here this morning, it's not with enticing words of man's wisdom or man's understanding, but it's a demonstration of the Spirit and the power of God. We need that more than ever in our churches. We need that moving of the Holy Spirit. We need that, where you, that hunger in your heart where you say, Lord God, Lord God, I need you. I need you, Lord. I want you to put your Bibles away this morning. And I want us to wait on the Lord, wait on the Holy Spirit. I purposely wanted to be short this morning and encourage you that we need a fresh touch of that Spirit of God in your life and in my life. I know I need it. I need it. I don't know how, I don't know how people live without it. I, I, I really don't. I, I, I'm not sure they do. I'm not sure they do. I think sometimes <clears throat> I think they're the walking dead. There's just nothing there. It's, it's just a religious form. And it's the idea of coming, we've got to go to church because we've got to go to church. But I, I believe so strongly in, oh, it's nothing but some new wine but we need we need this new wine we need this new wine in our life let's stand to our feet this morning I want to ask you before we go into our worship time I want to ask you if you've come to the place in your spiritual life that you could say for sure that you were to die today you'd go to heaven I ask that question every morning at, or every service that we have, and I ask it today on the Internet. Those that are listening to me, have you come to the place in your spiritual life that you can say for sure that if you were to die today, you would go to heaven? Have you come to that place? My second question is this. Suppose you were to die today and stand before God, and he's asked you why I should let you in heaven. What would your answer be? What would you say? What would you say? If there's an angel standing there saying, why should I let you in heaven? What would your answer be? I was a good person, my mother and dad were pastors, my grandpa was this and my mother was this and uh, we brought, we were at all the potlucks and all the things that happened in church. But my question to you today is simply this, if you were to die and something happened in your life and you stand before the gates of heaven, why should that angel open that door and let you in? And there's only one answer. And that answer is that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. You confess him as your Lord. You ask him to come into your heart. You ask him to be part of your heart. You ask him to lead you. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I, I want to recite a prayer today. And I want the congregation to recite that prayer with me. I believe in my heart right now that God is speaking to me and there's somebody listening on the internet right now and you're sitting in your home right now and God is speaking to you. And I want you, I want you to recite this prayer with us. And I want you to recite it with our congregation here. Church, Lord God, Lord God I confess that I am a sinner. I confess that I am a sinner. I confess that I need your son Jesus. I confess that I need your son Jesus. Please forgive me in his name. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and that you are alive and listening to me now. I now turn my sins, turn from my sins and welcome you into my heart. Come and take control of my life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Now, Holy Spirit, fill me with your presence. I acknowledge Jesus as the Savior of the world. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Now listen, if you prayed that, I want you to write me, J-I-A-F at earthlink.net. I want to hear from you. And if there's anybody in our congregation this morning that makes it, needs to make a new commitment to the Lord, the seriousness of it, and the fact that, you know, Jesus 
You, you, you may have turned from him. You've grown cold in your heart. You may have never really had a relationship with him. You don't fully understand what God is doing. We want to pray with you this morning. In just a moment, we're going to ask the entire congregation to come forward. And that we're going to have a word of prayer. And just ask the Holy Spirit to minister to us today. Tony, what is the tape that you have? Put it on, would you, Tony? Tony.